Hey guys, so we're just gonna jump right into our top knot. What you're gonna need is two scrunchies, some gel of your choice, a demon brush, a comb, a regular brush, and your blow dryer. So like always, we're gonna start with parting our hair into four sections. You can do one down the middle and then you can do one on the two sides like I do. Alright, so what you want to start with right now is moisturizing your hair. As you guys can see, I'm putting my Cantu inside of my hair, my ends, and I'm combing it through to make sure the product gets through my hair fully. And then I'm going to go on to moisturizing my scalp with my Jamaican castor oil. You need to moisturize your hair before you blow dry it because it's going to get dry and you don't want crispy blow dried hair. Alright, so now I'm starting to blow dry my hair. I'm just using a denim brush to like guide the blow dryer. And I'm putting the blow dryer on the brush at the same time. So it's like you're combing your hair and you're blow drying it through. I don't know why people use this process, but they do. If you have the blow dryer with the comb attached to it, you can do this. I heard it's much faster, but I don't have that, so that's why I'm doing this way. <laughs> As you can see, I just finished one fourth of my hair. It's getting thicker and longer. Oh, <laughs> So before you blow dry the rest of your hair, you want to twist the blow dried section and put it to the side so it doesn't get in your way. So right here, I'm blow drying the other section of my hair. I just want to give you guys another visual just in case you didn't catch it the first time. This time, I tried a different process. I'm starting off blow drying from the ends and then I start doing it from my roots out. I figured this would stop the brush from making knots at the end. I don't know, I'm pulling out my hair.
Alrighty, half the section is done. Do y'all see that? Okay. So this is the full result after I blow dry my hair. It's thick and wild. <laughs> So now that the blow drying is out the way, we're gonna start working on the top knot. So right now I'm just combing my hair in the direction my knot is gonna go. You guys will see from there. So now we just put in a little gel on the ends of my hair, in the back and then in the front, just brushing it in the direction my top knot is supposed to go. This time we're using some Gorilla Snot because that jam before did not work. So this time I used headbands instead of scrunchies. I always use them, but for this video, I want to use a scrunchie for y'all scrunchie users out there, but it was just not working on my head. So, and I know y'all have this problem all the time trying to get you into a ponytail, but I got it this time, y'all. <laughs> So now you just want to go back and add some more gel in the front and the back and brush it because it is not what it used to do before you do that ponytail. I know y'all like, finally, we putting on the headscarf now. Y'all like my little African wrap? Yeah, you're going to put the headscarf on for like... 10 to 15 minutes, however long it takes for your hair to dry and set. We are back, taking off our headscarf. 
Look at this sleigh. It's so slick. Ooh, okay. I know my forehead big. Don't say that. All right, so now you just want to comb out your ponytail because it got a little tangled. Anyway, so with your top knot, you kind of just want to go in the motion of your hair. Y'all see how I'm going around? Like, and it's really up to you. Now you go around, you stick a bobby pin in, and you keep going in the direction that you're going in, you just stick bobby pins in where you want them to. It's no real step-by-step -step process. All right, so now you just want to set them edges with your hair tie because God knows ain't no edges being set with just some gel and some edge control and you walking out the door. Mm -mm. All right, y'all, we back. We taking off the head tie. Edges just set, okay? Now you just want to fix up your top knot how you want, just like doing little last-minute touches, you feel me? I like to, like, scrunch up the bun a little bit, make it look a little more skinnier. Feel me? Ooh, ooh, uh-huh. 